In Luke 18, 31 through 33, we read this. And he took the twelve aside and said to them, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and all things which are written through the prophets about the Son of Man will be accomplished. For he will be delivered to the Gentiles, and will be mocked and mistreated and spit upon. And after they have scourged him, they will kill him, and the third day he will rise again. A truly amazing is what Luke then tells us. And they understood none of these things, and this saying was hidden from them, and they did not comprehend the things that were said. That's in verse 34. Well, how could you not understand that? Some quickly grasp at the words this saying was hidden from them and conclude it was supernaturally hidden from them. But is that really necessary? It's more natural to understand that the truth was hidden from them by their own prejudices. In other words, their own preconceived ideas about the coming Messiah. All their life, they had been taught and believed that when the Messiah came, he would abide forever. We read of that view in John 12, verse 34. There we read, We have heard out of the law that the Christ is to remain forever. And how can you say, The Son of Man must be lifted up? Here we have a group of men believing an erroneous idea so strongly that when they hear the truth, they cannot understand it, even when it is their own rabbi saying it. The truth is stranger than fiction when we believe the lie so strongly. Lies like these can be dead flies smelling up our minds and hindering us from accepting the truth. Beware of rejecting something just because it isn't what you've always believed. For what we've always believed may actually be the dead flies, and we may be pushing away the sweet perfume of truth.